good morning and happy Friday, Spunky fans. So, yeah, I'm tore up from the floor up, don't even care. Um, it's been a long, dang week. My brain is fried. The full moon has my emotions every which way but right. And so, yeah, I don't even care. Um, this week's jewelry feature, I didn't do it because I'm having some design issues with one of the bracelets and I've just been focusing on that so um, I will make sure to do a special awesome jewelry feature next week and yesterday I had an all-day date with my pillow and I did not move I uh, watched movies all day I'm not ashamed and but this week's Thursday thought, well now it's a Friday thought, is, and this is a sensitive subject for some, but I feel that I need to throw this out there. You know, the whole Black Lives Matter movement, I agree with it wholeheartedly. I really do. You know, um, because the minority does matter. It does matter. And when, you know, when a certain minority is being targeted for whatever reason, you know, then yes, you know, we need to shine the light on that. We need to put the spotlight on that. And I agree wholeheartedly with the Black Lives Matter movement. But at the same time, you know, those who are affected by the color of their skin need not perpetuate the stigma that comes with it. And we're all stereotyped, some more than others, yes. You know, people of color, you know, black people in particular, are stereotyped based on the color of their skin. They're ghetto, they're ignorant, they're gangsters, they're this, and I'm guilty of it myself. You know, I see a clean cut black man, I'm totally fine. You know, I see a black man with his pants sagging and you know he's looking a little gangster I, yeah I get I get a little freaked out so I will fully admit I am as a white woman a little freaked out but of course I get freaked out by white guys too you know don't get me wrong you know when they wanna look all hooligan like I get a little freaked out but at the same time you know, sometimes it's those clean-cut people that you have to worry about, but that's completely off-topic. But I, I am not without my own flaws and my own judgments, and that is part of my personal quest to relieve myself of judgment, especially judgment of others. And But back to Black Lives Matter, I was in the grocery store last week, and I had my children with me, and my husband with me and I was pushing the cart now I sprained my ankle pretty badly um, a few weeks ago and you know so walking is tedious at best and so I used the cart to lean on but we were walking from the school supply section stationary down to the uh, produce and this young black woman, I didn't think anything of her. You know, she was walking towards us. You know, and we were walking and everything was fine. And then all of a sudden, she just turns right in front of my cart and puts her hands on the back of the buggy and stops it suddenly. I mean, so suddenly that it ran into my midsection. And it hurt because, I mean... Really, I just got, I just ran full tilt on a suddenly stopped shopping cart. You know, and I stood there for a second. I'm like, seriously? You know, and she's like, I said, excuse me. I'm like, um, no, you kind of didn't. You just walked right in front of me, stopped my cart, and it, it, you could have waited the few seconds for me to continue passing by and then made your turn into the uh, woman's clothing section. You know, and, and she's like, you know, she threw up her hand and tossed her braids, and I'm like, all right. You know, so me and the kids started walking. And as we were walking away, 
you know, I heard her mutter something about Black Lives Matter. Now, again, I reiterate, I am a full supporter of this, but it's a movement for a cause. It's not an excuse to be a douchebag. <laughs> it's not. You know, you can't use, you know, Black Lives Matter as an excuse to be a douche canoe. You know, you want support from all the communities. You want us, as a white person, to support Black Lives Matter and to recognize why this mu movement was implemented in the first place, and then you're going to go around being a freaking arrogant, stuck-up bitch? No. That is, it, it's, it's a movement for a cause. It's not an excuse to be a dill hole. And I've seen it a couple of times, you know, and I've kept my mouth shut and, you know, because I don't want to cause drama. I don't want to cause drama with my friends, you know, especially Phone Jones and her husband, Ty. You know, I love those two to death. They're my, they're my best friends. And, you know, I'm sitting here biting my tongue because I don't want to offend them. But they're not a part of it. I mean, they are as, you know, a black couple, but at the same time, they're not douche canoes. You know, they are respectful. They are intelligent. They are, you know, they have mannerisms that far exceed the stigma of gangster or ghetto. You know, and half the time I forget what color they are because they're people. You know, and that's what Black Lives Matter is. You know, it's wanting to be recognized as a person and not a black person. Not a, you know, not a gangster, not a slave, not someone, you know, we can walk on. Do we have white privilege? Yes. Do I recognize that? Yes. Do I like that? No. For the simple fact that we're all equal, we all have the same, our blood is the same color. It runs through us the same color. Our hearts are the same color. Our lungs are the same color. Our kidneys are the same color. Our brain is the same color. But much like the fur on a dog, it's different. But everything else inside is the same. And we need to recognize that. You know, especially, you know, I recognize the cause. I love the cause. The purpose behind Black Lives Matter is so very important, so very beneficial to the lives around us. But at the same time, you cannot misrepresent that cause and use it as an excuse to do whatever you want. Because then it's going to get worse. If you are pulled over if you are a black man or a black woman or a black teenager and you're pulled over by a cop and you have that instant holier than thou, I'm black, I can do whatever I want because black lives matter and you get a shit bag attitude with that police officer, then yes, you're going to get a shit bag attitude back. It's that whole you get what you give. If you're going to go into a situation with a piss poor attitude, arrogance, and ignorance, then you're gonna get it back. And that's how shit escalates. That's how shit escalates. You know, and that's with anybody. But with the whole BLM, it's even worse because you have a fraction of a group who are trying to do good, trying to bring peace, but this little fraction over here is using it as an excuse to be a dickwad. You know, they can they they feel that because we're part of the BLM movement that we can be disrespectful, be dishonest, 
and be just downright ignorant of common courtesy and respect. Am I saying it's everybody? No. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's everybody. It's a very small portion, but that small portion does matter. It does matter. And I will be the first person to tell you you are a douche canoe if you are being one. And if you're going to sit there and be rude to me and my children by walking in front of us, stopping the cart just because you don't want to wait a few seconds, and then you're going to throw at me Black Lives Matter, I don't give a fuck if you're purple. That's rude. That's disrespectful. Not only did you disrespect me, but you disrespected my children. And my children's best friends are black. We don't see color. We see ignorance. We see arrogance and an uncanny ability to be an asshole. Doesn't matter what color. Blue, purple, orange, black, yellow, red, whatever. We don't see it. I'm not speaking for everybody. I'm speaking for me. For me. Spunky Brewster. I'm speaking for me. And don't be rude to those around you just because you want to toss out Black Lives Matter. That does not make you a cause or a spokesperson for the cause. That makes you the problem against the cause. Because nobody is going to believe that Black Lives Matter if those lives are being assholes to everybody else. Anybody. White people, Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Asians, it doesn't matter. You want to be recognized as a group of people? That's fine. But make sure you're doing it the right way. 95% of them are. Peaceful protests, you know, and everything like that. And I respect that. In fact, I support that. What I don't support is walking around thinking because you're black that you can get away with treating people like shit. Doesn't work that way. And you can sit here and you can tell me, you know, whatever, but it doesn't work that way. This is a very touchy subject, and I tend to try not to touch the touchy subjects, but I just, I couldn't get past that. I, I just, I couldn't. You know, I even talked to Phone Jones about it. I'm like, this was ridiculous. You know, and I figured if anybody would understand, she would. You know, and she actually encouraged me to make this video. To put that out there. You know, and it's not an excuse. It's a cause. It's a good cause. But it's not an excuse. Please don't make it an excuse to be a disrespectful menace to society. Because then it won't matter. Black, white, whatever. Your life won't matter because you don't make other lives matter. Because you don't care about what others are affected by. You want, as an individual, not as a group, as an individual, you want to be recognized as a productive, good standing citizen, no matter what color, don't be a jackass. Just don't be a jackass. You know, you want to be disrespectful and rude, fine, be disrespectful and rude, but don't throw out the hashtag or the phrase for a movement that I support because of its message. Don't think for a second 
that I'm going to tolerate disrespect just because of the color of your skin. Mm -mm. Black lives matter, blue lives matter, white lives matter, all lives matter. I don't give a flying flapjack what hashtag you want to stand under that does not give you the right to be rude and disrespectful, especially to children. Especially to children. We want to stop the stigma and the judgment. We need to stop it in our children. We're too old for all this shit. Can't teach an old dog new tricks? Well, you can, but it takes time and a whole shit ton of treats. But you teach a puppy? They're on it like that. Black lives matter. All lives matter. We need to teach our children the messages we're trying to teach ourselves. That's where change truly begins is in our children. But if we're going to sit here and show them the same bullshit that we do, it's just going to perpetuate and it's just going to keep going and shit will never change. Not only do we need to work on changing ourselves, but we need to work on changing our children. Teaching our children what we are trying to accomplish in society. Everybody is equal. Everybody is awesome. Everybody is on the same level. That will never happen if we keep teaching our children the same judgments and the same stigmas that we ourselves have. I And that's what that's it. I I I can sit here and I can get hyped up but I'm not gonna because I've said my piece, I've said my message. And I hope y'all see it for what it is. And that's have your causes. I support your causes. I support good causes. But the one thing I don't do is tolerate excuses and disrespect. So, keep it real, spunksters. Keep it real. Peace.